Let's get started. The first thing was there were some killer press conferences yesterday. Oh, yeah. Going through, listening. There were some good ones today, too. I really liked Leslie Frazier, some of the things he had to say. But some killer press conferences. Sean McDermott with one of the quotes of the day. Expectations are for people outside the building. We are here to work. That was a way that just got my juices flowing before practices even kicked off. Um, but Vaughn Miller, that guy, when he takes the podium, he stands out when he has a conversation with the media and he addresses the media. A number of things he said stood out, including his thoughts on rotating defensive lines, which we're going to get to later in our defensive preview. Uh, when talking about championship teams, uh, he had one of my favorite quotes. He says, success leaves clues. And then when talking about pressure, uh, when talking about expectations, he said, pressure is a privilege and there is a lot of pressure in Buffalo. So a lot of good one-liners from guys like Sean McDermott and Vaughn Miller today. But the one thing I want to start off today with is Vaughn Miller was asked to share traits towards the end of his press conference of successful teams. What do you the Broncos that won the Super Bowl that you were with, what do the Rams, what do they have in common? What are the characteristics that these teams have that you want to see carry over to the Bills or what brought you to Buffalo? And one thing he said in particular stuck out to me. He said, championship teams win close games. Last season, the Buffalo Bills were 0-6 in one score games, including the season ender at Arrowhead. What is your level of concern about their inability to win close games in 2021 carrying over to 2022. My level of concern is not high. I think some of these things sometimes are a little bit fluky. Cause I think if you go back and you look at the 2020 season um, where the bills were, were phenomenal from a win loss standpoint, they won a lot of close games in that 2021 mm -hmm. uh, 2020 season. So you know, the law of averages, I would say, I mean, obviously if you're a good team, you should be able to close out, you know, tight games. But I would say the fact that they were 0-6 in those one score games last year, including the, the obviously the, the last playoff loss is, is a little bit more fluky than it is anything I'm really reading into on the team's inability to close out um, games. And Von Miller, in a way, is talking about himself as well, as we've talked about him being a closer on this show, he's the guy that is going to seal the deal for you in those said close games. So if you're a Bills fan or if you're the Bills and you're looking at it like, hey, we were 0-6 in one score games last year, Von Miller's a guy who can impact those games for us in a positive way in 2022 and swing the pendulum back. Now, I'm not saying you're going to win every single one score game. It's just, it, 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 like I said, it's a little bit fluky, but... um. I am not, I'm not going to re read into it too much for 2022 compared to 2021. Cause in a way, even though we have Josh Allen, right. And a lot of the teams the same, it does feel different to me this year. I mean, you've got the new faces in Von Miller, you've got other new faces um, on the team, but there's just, there is a, like you said vibe check at the beginning uh, of the show. I, there is a different vibe to mm -hmm. this team this year than I think there was last year. Last year, the vibe was, all right, let's try to make a run in the playoffs. This year, the vibe is like we are the favorites, if not one of the top three teams favored to win the Super Bowl in, mm -hmm. in 2022, right? So the vibe's different. I'm not going to read too much into last year. Think of it as a learning experience. Obviously, the the last game of the year is really going to stick with them, but um, I'm not I'm not reading too much into that. Yeah. If anything, I think Von Miller is going to be the guy, one of the mm -hmm. guys who kind of swings the pendulum back the other way. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what you bring the guy here for, right? Like in that yeah. on that final drive of the game, he's the guy you're looking for to get that game winning sack to seal the game or the strip sack to uh, sort of change the tides, make that game changing play in the fourth quarter, close it out for you. Yep. Von Miller, you're looking for him to be the closer. Jessica Tennis comes in with a great comment. She says, I fear McDermott and Leslie Frazier are too much on the same page. No different opinions. We had that conversation at the start of the off season. Like, is it time to hit the reset button and bring in a different defensive coordinator just to sort of challenge Sean McDermott and his beliefs a little bit? I, I think, and we're going to get to this when we get to the defense, when we talk about the D line rotations, I think Von Miller could maybe be a guy who challenges the coaching staff to switch things up and to spice things up a little bit. Like we're going to get to that when we get to the defensive uh, preview, 
Von Miller had one thing to say about how he wants to be used in a rotation. Mm -hmm. And Leslie Frazier had another thing to say about how Von Miller is used in a rotation. So a guy of Von Miller's stature could be someone who, um, you know, steps up and chats it up with the coaching staff. And it wasn't always just the defense either. I think back to the Pittsburgh game, specifically week one, that wasn't on the defense. They're not the reason we lost that football game. It was the offensive line Mm -hmm. and ability to score points. Same with Jacksonville. It wasn't Sean McDermott and Leslie Frazier who cost us the Jacksonville Jaguars game. It was the offensive line and it was uh, our offense's inability to score points. So not completely on McDermott and Frazier, but I do like where your heads are with that. Cause that is something that we went back and forth at over the course of um, over the course of the beginning of this off season. 